Welcome to Travel Goals, where we help you up your travel game by giving you relevant travel tips, packs, and information on travel destinations worldwide. New Zealand is one of the world's most beautiful, diverse, and scenic countries in the world. It's often missed when tourists rush to Australia or Southeast Asia. The country's fascinating history and magnificent landscapes are among its greatest attractions, honestly. Many of these landscapes are featured in films such as Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. This breathtaking country has so much to see, from incredible glaciers to stunning fjords to pristine beaches. You'll never run out of things to do in New Zealand. The only problem is choosing which one. And that's why in this video we're going to show you 14 of the best places to visit in New Zealand. Watch till the end as our number one destination might just surprise you. Hitting the like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel lets us know that you enjoy our videos. You know that. Tap on the bell icon, turn on notifications. You also know that. You've been on YouTube before. So, anyways, I'd appreciate it if you did all that. And thank you. Let's get started. Number 14. Queenstown, South Island. Queenstown is an extremely popular tourist destination for several reasons. It offers an array of excellent restaurants to dine in, stunning natural scenery to take in, and plenty of opportunities to participate in adrenaline-pumping adventure sports. With all there is to see and do in Queenstown, it's no wonder that this charming New Zealand location consistently ranks highly among travelers' must-visit lists. There's so many fun things to do here. For example, cruising aboard the TSS Ernslaw or jet boating on the Shotover River. And there's the Skipper's Canyon, Queenstown Kiwi Birdlife Park, Skyline Gondola, Coronet Peak Ski Area, and Queenstown Trail. The Queenstown Trail is one of New Zealand's 22 great rides, a network of trails that provide a safe and sustainable way to explore New Zealand's special places. Riding the Queenstown Trail allows you to explore Queenstown by bike or on foot via 130 kilometers of spectacular off-road trails. Your journey starts on the shores of Lake Wakatipu and it takes you from Queenstown to Gibston, returning via historic Arrowtown. You'll take in a plethora of lakes, mountains, rivers, bridges, and spectacular views. There's enough adrenaline-fueled activities in Queenstown, like AJ Hackett bungee jump or ziplining to the remarkable mountains with stunning views over Lake Wakatipu. You surely don't want to miss out on the fun here. Number 13. Fox & Franz Josef Glaciers New Zealand is a country known for its natural beauty, and the Fox & Franz Josef Glaciers are among the most stunning features. These glaciers are located in the Southern Alps and offer travelers breathtaking views of mountains, valleys, and forests. Fox Glacier is the larger of the two glaciers, extending for 13 kilometers or 8 miles. Franz Josef Glacier is short at just 11 kilometers, but it's more popular with tourists because it's easier to access. You will find countless hiking trails throughout the area that will allow visitors to experience views of both glaciers up close. The surrounding region offers more than just scenery. There's skydiving and jet boating activities. I bet you don't want to miss that. Number 12. Fjordland National Park Milford Sound, South Island The beautiful Fjordland National Park is the largest of New Zealand's 14 national parks. It covers an area of 1.2 million hectares, surrounded by rainforest and alpine regions. The park is dominated by the spectacular Southern Alps mountain range, along with glaciers, valleys, and lakes. With its towering peaks, pristine lakes, and majestic waterfalls, it's no wonder that this place is often called the eighth wonder of the world. Fjordland National Park is one of New Zealand's top tourist destinations because of its stunning landscape that never fails to impress visitors from all over the globe. Number 11. Bay of Islands, North Island The Bay of Islands is located toward the northern point of New Zealand, close to the town center of Pahia. The area is home to 144 islands, although most people only see a handful. These islands are places for those who love nature and being outdoors. Many activities include swimming, kayaking, fishing, and hiking. Bay Island is also a great place to see some of New Zealand's native birds like the kiwi. The kiwi is New Zealand's national icon. Kia, one of the most playful and smartest birds in the world. You're going to find so many other incredible birds here while you're having fun, and a lot of fun, of course. Number 10. Lake Taupo in Tongariro National Park Lake Taupo sits in the middle of New Zealand's Northern Island and is known for its trout fishing, as well as its hot springs and the majestic Mount Ruapehu. 
Taupo is a popular tourist destination for both Kiwis and international travelers. The lake is so large that it can be seen from space, and there's a lot of things to do around the lake, including jet boating and relaxing in the hot springs. Tongariro National Park is a World Heritage Site with three active volcanoes, including Mount Ngaruho, often mistaken for Mount Doom in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. If you love hiking, biking, and climbing mountains, this is the place for you. These two places are a must-see when in New Zealand. Number 9. Auckland Auckland, the city of sails, is New Zealand's largest city over the North Island. The city has a population of over 1.5 million people and is a major business and financial center in the country. The main attraction for international visitors is the Sky Tower, which offers incredible views of the city from observation decks and a revolving restaurant. The Sky Tower also serves as a telecommunications and broadcasting tower. Auckland is also home to other iconic landmarks, including Rangotito Island, Kelly Tarleton's Sea Life Aquarium, and Mount Eden Park. In Auckland, other places to visit include Waitamata Harbor, Auckland War Memorial Museum, and the One Tree Hill. You can also take Auckland Dolphin and whale watching cruises, or have some relaxing time on the east or west coast beaches. Waiheke Island is also worth a visit. The island is located in the Hauraki Gulf, about a 35-minute boat ride from Auckland. The pleasant climate and beautiful scenery here make Waiheke Island a very popular tourist destination for Aucklanders and tourists. Number 8. Auraki slash Mount Cook National Park Mount Cook National Park was established in 1953. Located on New Zealand's South Island, the park is home to several glaciers and Mount Cook, the country's tallest mountain. A rocky Mount Cook National Park highlights New Zealanders' commitment to preserving their environment. The park provides an important refuge for native plants, including the vibrantly colored hibiscus, the beautifully fragrant frangipani tree, the striking red flame tree, and rare birds like the kakirore bird, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. Many of these plants add color on the island, and their traditional medicinal properties are still used by locals today. Additionally, the park offers visitors stunning views and opportunities for outdoor recreation. Number 7. Rotorua Rotorua is a top travel destination with its geothermal activity, Maori culture, and beautiful scenery. You will be intrigued by the mud pools, the hot springs, and the geysers that dot the landscape. Enjoy a traditional Maori feast and concert featuring local song and dance. The Tapuya Thermal Valley offers bubbling mud pools and thrilling geysers while Waiotapu Thermal Wonderland has stunning geothermal formations. After you've explored the geothermal areas of Rotorua, you can take some time to relax in one of the many hot springs or spas. You can also go hiking or mountain biking in nearby forests. Number 6. Kaikoura With whale-watching tours departing from the town daily and multiple swimming lessons with dolphins, it's easy to see why this is one place that you can't miss out on a trip to NZ, or New Zealand. <laughs> Kaiokura is a popular tourist destination for those interested in seeing some of New Zealand's amazing wildlife up close. The dramatic meeting of land and sea in Kaiokura's coastal waters supports a fascinating array of wildlife, including albatross, whales, dolphins, fur seals, and more. This meeting point makes Kaiokura a haven for lovers of unique marine and bird life. It's also important for its role in conservation efforts, by educating tourists about the importance of preserving these species. Kaiokura helps create global citizens who care about protecting our planet's biodiversity. Number 5. Lake Te Kapo There's many beautiful lakes in New Zealand, but Lake Te Kapo is arguably one of the best. It's located in the Mackenzie Basin of the South Island and is known for its water. That is a stunning turquoise color. It was formed by a glacial activity in the region millions of years ago. There's also plenty of activities to enjoy around Lake Te Kapo. In the summer, you can go swimming, boating, or fishing. If you're looking for something a little more relaxed than fishing somehow, there's always picnicking and hiking out in the stunning scenery. Number 4. Abel Tasman National Park and the Abel Tasman Coast Track The Abel Tasman National Park is situated northwest of New Zealand's South Island and is one of the most beautiful places that you can visit during your trip. This park is a must-see for any nature lover. The Abel Tasman Coast Track takes you through some of the New Zealand's most beautiful scenery including golden beaches, native bush, and clear blue waters. The Tasman Coast Track is a brilliant trail that follows along the coastline for 50 kilometers. It takes about three to four days to complete. Number 3. Napier, Hawke's Bay 
Napier is a beautiful coastal city in Hawke's Bay on the east coast of North Island. Just two hours south is Napier's stunning Art Deco capital. Rebuilt in 1930 after a massive earthquake with architecture that harks back to more glamorous days, the New Zealand city with the highest sunshine hours per year is Napier. It has 2,520 hours of sunshine each year. It's known as the Art Deco capital and annually hosts an Art Deco festival. Art Deco Town Because it is a well-preserved Art Deco town, Napier is considered to be one of the best places to visit in New Zealand. Visitors can take several different Art Deco building tours or take part in guided walking tours. Number 2. The Coromandel Peninsula This peninsula is renowned for its stunningly beautiful natural scenery and crystal clear waters. It's a great place to go for swimming, snorkeling, kayaking, or just enjoying the views. The Coromandel Peninsula is one of New Zealand's top tourist destinations, and it's absolutely gorgeous. With its picture-perfect beaches and turquoise waters, it's no wonder that people flock here from all over the world to experience its beauty firsthand. It is visually stunning, and it is home to some of the best and most accessible marine life in New Zealand, making it perfect for those who love exploring nature outdoors. Number 1. Waitomo Glowworm Caves The Waitomo Glowworm Caves is one of New Zealand's top natural attractions. It is a network of caves and underground ravines in the Waikato region of the North Island. The main attraction of the cave is its population of Arachnocampa luminosa, more commonly known as glowworms. These tiny insects larvae radiate light that illuminates the cavern like stars of the night sky, making an unforgettable experience while visiting New Zealand. This matters because it shows how beautiful nature can sometimes be, even if we don't think so at first. So, what are your thoughts on New Zealand? Do share them with us in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos like this. We got a lot of content coming your way, so stay tuned. See you in the next one, and ka-chow.